Hey guys, my name is Sydney Olson. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I am a professional parkour athlete and a stunt woman. Today, I was so lucky to get to come out and train skydiving with the Golden Knights team from the US Army. Let's go. I'm, I'm like more nervous this time than I was the first time I did it. And I think it's just because I know what it feels like and it feels kind of scary. <laughs> We just uh, we finished the safety briefing and now we are getting ready to get strapped up and go up there and have a great time falling out of an airplane. Sydney? Yeah. What's up, my name is Blake. I'm going to be your tandem instructor. I understand you have skydived before? Once, yeah. Being a little bit nervous is pretty healthy when you're jumping out of airplanes, I would say. You're expecting it to feel like the roller coaster drop, but it feels a little bit more like you're floating yeah. or ripping through the wind. Okay. And then we're going to go to the locker door and practice the backflip exit real quick. Okay. And then you can kind of follow me. There's a few things about the backflip exit. So the goal is going to be one really slow, kind of smooth flip. That's awesome. So what we're going to do, ready, set, and all you're going to do Come out of the airplane, arch, look up at the airplane and watch it fly away. And really like lock your eyes on the airplane because that'll really slow that flip down okay. and make it look nice. Okay, cool. just arch and watch yeah. it. Okay. Can we practice that real quick? Yeah. Okay. Ready, set, arch. That's it. Okay. The part about it is just try not to like do anything except just this arch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much you just stay in that squat position. And this actually gives you a second to start arching, right? Because like once we come out of the plane, we're like, okay, we're out, you see the airplane, you can start arching then. Oh, okay, cool. I think the trick really is to like the whole secret to skydiving, if I had to sum it up, would be to not think about anything too much. Yeah, so one thing I love about just air awareness in general is like I know how to fall um, like in any position. So yeah. like if I'm falling, my body just automatically knows what to do to save me from falling on my head. And like yeah. I assume the same sort of thing with skydiving too. Your body just naturally wants to go in that shape. Yeah, no matter and what. you have a whole lot of time to figure it out. You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you watch some of your videos. If your flips and flips are impressive. Oh, I wish I could do that. I can't. I can't, by the way. No. So when you joined the Golden Knights, had you had you ever skydived? Skydive. Yeah, yeah. So I start. I basically started skydiving, and then realized that the Golden Knights was like something that was in the army. I saw them when I was a kid. Kind of forgot all about it. And then I was sky. I was stationed in Fort Polk, Louisiana. It wasn't like a whole lot to do for, for recreation there, but that's what I spent my weekends doing. And then as I was like kind of moving through and saw a video of the Golden Knights pop up, I was like, man, I'm gonna try that. We are about to jump out of an airplane, and I get to do a backflip out, which is gonna be really cool. <laughs>
Sydney. Oh my god, that was awesome. That was the craziest experience ever. The backflip definitely put the whole world into perspective for me. Just how large everything is and like how small things look from up there. <laughs> but beautiful, beautiful experience. It's so cool though, because like, yeah, I don't know. I, I wasn't super nervous when we got to the edge. I was just like, okay, just arch like you said. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I just kept making sure to hold that position oh so we didn't do several flips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my shoe almost came off. <laughs> it like started coming off and I was like wiggling it back on while I was doing I the did, If you had lost your shoe, I would have never heard the end of it from, me, <laughs> from my teammates. <laughs> it's so funny. I just don't know why that happened though. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I just, that whole experience was crazy because like I jump out of the plane, it doesn't even feel real and we're doing the flip and I'm just seeing airplane sky earth and I'm seeing like all these soldiers around me like flying with me and I'm just like what is my life this is so cool like I am so grateful I get to do stuff like this it's incredible honestly follow your excitement <laughs> I have always respected the US Army but now even more so with the Golden Knights I had no idea that this was even a thing and so if you've ever thought about looking into jobs in the army you can definitely check out the link in my description there is a job out there for you if you're into skydiving, you gotta join this. <laughs> so you just jumped out of an airplane with this. And so there's a certificate that says that you did so. That's so cool. Ah, oh, so cool. I got a certificate. <laughs> My name is Staff Sergeant Blake Gaynor, and I am an instructor parachutist for the United States Army Parachute Team, the Golden Knights. I joined the Army in 2005. I was stationed at Fort Polk, Louisiana for a while, and I was stationed at Fort Bliss. Mm -hmm. um, deployed to Iraq, Afghanistan and essentially skydiving was something that I was doing for like a recreation on the weekends mm. and then eventually I kind of realized that the Golden Knights was in the army and it was something that I could do. I saw them at an air show when I was a kid but I just never really made the connection. Went out to make a tandem skydive and kind of just fell in love with doing it. Serve my country and do something that I'm very passionate about. So in 2012, I came to tryouts by the hair of my chinny chin chin, made it through. <laughs> <laughs> Love that answer. Um, do you remember your first jump? Oh, I do very much. And I remember waking up in the morning and I was definitely having second thoughts because I was pretty afraid of it. I remember in my head hoping that something would happen that could maybe cancel it so I didn't have to chicken out in front of my friends and I was absolutely terrified. When that door came open, my friend went out before me and I remember the airplane like shifting its center of gravity as they went out and I was like, that's that, that's kind of overwhelming. Yeah. I came out and, and I mean, I, I don't even remember like the first second or two of coming out of the plane and then basically felt like I had been born again. What would be your best piece of advice for young people that are trying to just make it through life and they're trying to figure out what they want to do like what is your best advice for that do not let fear dictate what you're going to do with your life thank you for uh, coming out and jumping with us today it was awesome jumping with you and thank you for making my job easy all right so can you tell everybody your name and your job title uh, my name is sergeant first class chris acevedo and i am a tandem instructor for the united states army parachute team the golden knights i'm the fastest soldier in the army uh, so in the united states i am the third fastest Okay, so a normal skydive, people travel about 120 miles an hour, correct? Yes. And how fast do you travel? <laughs> uh, my personal best was 302.8 miles an hour. Oh my gosh, that's so impressive. What does that feel like? Uh, it is, uh, at first, it's, it's really fast. <laughs> it's kind of loud. <laughs> wow. Um, how long have you been in the Army, and how long have you been with the Golden Knights? I've been in the Army for 22 years and I've been on the Golden Knights for 13. And I heard that you are retiring very soon, and what is your plan after that? I plan on being an actor. That's so cool! The Army has just provided me so many opportunities. I was a 120 pound kid that wanted to do absolutely nothing. I, I joined because of college money, mm -hmm. and so I, like, I had a four year contract initially. Uh, within that first year, I was rappelling out of helicopters. And then you fast forward to nine years later when I joined the Golden Knights, and uh, that changed everything. Uh, mm -hmm. Skydiving has changed my life incredibly and so it just it just made me realize like how much you can accomplish uh, as a person and anybody can do it and so it's just like just basically taking that step you yeah. know and literally taking the step and you get off that airplane and it's just life-changing. And then what has been the biggest life lesson that you would share it with the world? Oh gosh, it, uh, whatever your dreams are, go for it. Like you can do whatever you want and uh, only you are stopping you, so go get that. it. In fact, uh, as a kid, I was really shy. Uh, I, was, I was painfully shy and e even my first couple years in the army, 
uh, all the way up until uh, becoming Golden Knight, they really pulled me out of my shell and it's like, hey, you have to talk to people now. And so I love talking to people now, whereas before I, I didn't have that. And I think that's a huge skill to be able to just come out of your shell and just be able to express yourself however, you know, just to get people to talk to you mm. and to have a conversation. And you guys heard it here. If you are ever interested in joining the Army, there is a job for you. Make sure to follow the link in the description. I will have one there. So the U.S. Army Golden Knights is a skydiving team and they do crazy formations together and they go and compete around the world. So the fact that I get to come out and train with them is a pretty incredible experience. I loved watching every bit of it and I hope you guys do as well. So let me know in the comments how you feel about this video and please give it a big thumbs up for me.